From the KERA Newsroom, I'm Justin Martin. And now, back to local news. For the past couple of weeks, a diverse group of teens and young adults has been on a bus trip around the country. The goal? To foster a better understanding of others and to build support for immigrants' rights and racial justice. As KERA's Stella Chavez reports, their last stop today was in Dallas, and they had a lot to say. The event featuring 12 Asian, Latino, and African-American youths was part pep rally and part civic engagement. Who are we? Free Free Riders! Riders! What do we want? Justice! What do we want? Now! These Dream Riders began their seven-state tour in Washington, D.C. Their journey has taken them to Virginia, North Carolina, Florida, Alabama, and Louisiana. They want to mobilize young people to push for changes in society. As Dream Riders, we have come to talk about racial injustice. We've come to talk about civic engagement. We've come to talk about immigration reform because all of those things are intertwined. You cannot have one without the other. That's 23-year-old Saba Nafiz. She was born and raised in Pakistan and lives in Fort Worth now. She and her family came to the U.S. when she was 11. Well, this is really where life has led me because immigration and being undocumented has somehow turned out to define my life and that of my family. And I have come to realize that there is a fight we must fight. There's Nafiz got help under the federal policy known as Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA. It gives young people who came to the U.S. before turning 16 and before 2007 a work permit. It also exempts them from deportation. Like Nafis, David Hahn knows what it's like to live with uncertainty. When I was two years old, my mom, my sister, and I left Korea to escape my abusive father. It was very difficult at the time because we were very poor and we didn't know anyone in Los Angeles and also because of language barriers. Han qualified for the DACA program. He says his experience is why he became an activist. During the bus trip, the group stopped in Birmingham, Alabama. In a museum, Han saw one of the letters written by the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. In it was the word wait. I thought about how African Americans, for many years, much of the times they wait, like how immigrants wait for citizenship. A lot of them waited for human rights. After arriving in Dallas, many of the youths flew home. Their homework when they get back? Getting others to join their movement. Stella Chavez, KERA News. We've got a heat advisory in effect until Monday. Otherwise, this evening, we're looking at sunny or clear skies. It's going to be hot. Right now, we've got a high near 103, which we've already reached across most of BFW. It's 103 degrees in Fort Worth and Wichita Falls, 102 in Dallas, and 100 in Tyler. You can follow KERA News on Twitter or like us on Facebook. From the KERA Newsroom, I'm Justin Martin.